So the footage on your screen, the picture you're looking at right there, was shot by one of our producers last week. We were out in California uh, all week in Los Angeles, supposedly one of the richest cities in the world, and in some ways it is. But the video you're watching shows something else. California's poor, meandering, trash-filled streets right in the middle of the city, right downtown, block after block, homeless encampments along the sidewalks, blanketing downtown L.A. The footage you're watching starts at Fifth Street and San Pedro and goes west. Again, block after block, tent after tent. This is how the poor spent Easter Sunday in California. They weren't clustered along a single road either. It wasn't just like skid row. It was like many skid rows. We drove down three completely different blocks and the encampments just continued. Looks like Tegucigalpa or Port-au-Prince, but it's not. It's America's second largest city. The encampments begin just two blocks away from Little Tokyo, one of LA's major tourist destinations. Nearby apartments rent for 3,500 bucks a month. You might be wondering, with so many people priced out of local housing, the people are literally living in RVs, miles of RVs parked along the streets, and as you're watching here, in tents. Why wouldn't local leaders want to slow or stop the flow of new arrivals to get prices under control, to opening up new housing? They're doing the opposite. L.A. is a sanctuary city and a sanctuary state. Every politician there with any ambition will denounce our borders an atrocity and immigration enforcement is an abomination. The poor in California are an afterthought, one of the reasons why they're multiplying. That's why when California Governor Gavin Newsom decided to fight poverty last week, he flew to another country to do it, El Salvador. The same people who want no limits on people moving here can't even house the people who already live here. It tells you a lot.